Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ella Ringrose and in today's video, we're going to be reading my diaries. <laughs> so I always preach to keep your diaries because when you look back, you'll realize all the things that you maybe manifested and didn't even realize. What's that noise? Oh. So always keep your scripting journals and we're going to get straight into it. So these journals are 19, 20 year old Ella. So these are over one to two years ago. This is how old it was. I cut this up and put it on my vision board. Now it's ruined. So we're gonna read these. I haven't read these, which I'm intrigued by. So we're gonna read the scripting and see what I've manifested in a year or two years or however much. So I don't know which one to pick. I might pick this one. I remember, I literally remember having tears on these pieces of paper when I was writing. I was in a really bad mindset, like mental state when I had this journal, I know for a fact, because it was right before I decided to move to Canada. So we're just gonna read things I've written. They, they're they not all scripting, some of them are like, oh, perfect, here's one. First page I open and the title says my future, okay? So I'm assuming I was still living at home. I'm sitting here drinking my black coffee on my balcony soaking up the sun. I have two coaching calls this morning, but first I'm going to journal beforehand. I meditate earlier with my incense burning. I don't do incense anymore because apparently it's bad for you. And the 10 minute guided meditation. I'm going to the gym and then I'll be going back to my place and making a really healthy breakfast. I do my 10 minute makeup and have a shower and get to work. I then am now ready to conquer the day, head on and crush it. I'm in complete control. I created this life. I did this all on my own. I created this life. I created my future step by step, day by day. I created this life. I really had to get that into my head. I created this life. That's really funny because I hadn't even moved to Canada and yeah, I do that every morning now. Like I used to spend like, basically the reason also I wrote 10 minute makeup down was because I used to spend like over an hour on my makeup and it was just not efficient. And now I do 10 minutes, but that's literally my morning routine. I go out, drink my coffee outside of my deck and I have coaching calls. I do all of this, that's so funny. Interesting. I mean, it's not groundbreaking, but that is cool because I was still living at home. I didn't know I was gonna be moving out. The top of this page says money manifestation. I intend to give YouTube valuable content and amazing content on the podcasts. I have an ebook. I have one-on-one -on -one life coaching to improve people's lives and courses package to create the best night, morning and night routine for success. That is so weird because I didn't even know I wanted to do courses back then because now I have the academy and one of the biggest things in it is a morning, morning rituals, which is really weird because I, I don't even like, I completely forget that, the, I completely forgot that that was like my intention. That's really crazy. Wow, okay, that's interesting. Oh my God. I go, as well as merchandise, guided journals, etc., as well as a self-published author for blah, blah, blah. Okay, so here it says, as well as guided journals, which is really funny because I'm coming out with guided journals um, so people can do their own scripting. And I, I thought I only thought about that like four months ago, but I literally wrote this over a year ago and I didn't even realize. That is crazy. I literally thought I only thought, I thought I only thought about that like four months ago and I've written this down over a year ago. That's so weird. I'm currently designing like a guided journal. So that's crazy. Wow, what the hell? That, I'm not even like shocked. I'm just like, that's crazy. I, I, I don't remember wanting to have a course back then or wanting to have those products. And now they're in the making. That's crazy. Okay, this page I'm crying out my emotions like crazy. I was working at a, a job that I really didn't like and I felt one of the coworkers was really mean to me. And I was pretty down how upset I was. Cause like one thing about me, I don't know if it comes across on camera, but I'm one thing I wish I was stronger on is I'm very soft and sensitive. I don't know if it comes across, but I'm very sensitive to things. Um, if it's like a hater on YouTube, I don't care because I think, you know, they're sitting at home giving hate to someone like I couldn't care less, but it, it's when it's people who I know who are saying something mean to me or something that I get really upset. So that's really <laughs> little Ella. Does that break your heart? But okay, who is my superwoman self? I wake up at 5 a.m. Oh my God, I do that now. I drink water, journal, gratitude, meditate and stretch. I make a bulletproof coffee and go over my goals and to-do list. I get dressed to go to the gym. I walk back to my place, I make Oh, this is basically the same scripting as the one I made before, but that's weird because I wake up at 5 a.m. now. Oh, okay, this is an interesting one. So I remember I put up a story. Oh my God, sorry. I'm just looking at my bucket list 
and on my bucket list it, gets, it says move to Bali. And I don't know if I've announced this, but I now am moving to Bali in August with my best friend. Which is, wow, what the hell? Oh, that's crazy. Like this was 19, 20 year old Ella. Okay, this one. I remember I put up an Instagram story saying I was quitting alcohol and I was terrified because I was still living in Ireland and in Ireland, like it's not normal to quit alcohol. Like alcohol is huge in Ireland. And um, so I said, I'm paranoid and anxious because I have now put out into the world that I've decided to quit alcohol. I'm anxious because that voice is saying, everyone will think I'm a freak, I will fail, and everyone will think I'm a failure. Is that true? No. I will rise above the voice of Voldemort. I used to call that mean voice in my head, Vol Voldemort. Now I call it Regina George, but yeah. He is trying to drag me down. I will not allow him. I'm the master of my life. I'm in complete control. You are living your life the exact way you want to. You are the master. How can I afford this? I can afford this no problem. I choose not to as my priorities will be healthy food. I choose to feed my body with the highest quality. I'm not a phony because I've decided to quit alcohol. I've decided to quit alcohol because I'm phenomenal. <laughs> that is crazy. I don't know if you could tell from my wording but I was doubting myself the entire time writing that. I didn't actually think I was going to. And that's crazy because after that I literally didn't drink alcohol for maybe half a year, I don't know. Um, I quit it for a very long time and now I really don't drink much. I'd say like every second month, like I mean a glass of wine, I'd, I'd say during quarantine I have actually had a glass of wine or two, but like I rarely, rarely drink alcohol. Com coming from my past when I used to drink like, um, like three, four times a week, it was really bad. If you can tell, most of the stuff I was trying to manifest were internal because my mindset, I knew the mindset was the secret. Like if you had your mindset conquered, everything was good. Should I read this one? Okay. These are like half scripting, half just like journaling. Um, I'm gonna do a video on the differenti differentiation of them. It's ugly recording today. I felt disappointed. I didn't wake up early. Am I ugly? Um, is that a fact? No. You are absolutely beautiful and my alarm went off and I got up straight away. I couldn't have possibly woken up any earlier. I'm the master of my life. I'm successful. I'm changing people's lives to become incredible, happy people. I've quit alcohol at 20. How crazy is that? I'm beyond proud. I will create insane wellness products, journals. I will become successful. I'm the master of my life. Everything is rigged in my favor. I'm excited. Rem rem remember, this will not happen overnight, okay? This will take hours upon hours of working, hustling. Oh, I don't like the word hustling anymore, but I'm going to be successful. It scares me to the core. You are insane. <laughs> See, I started off really sad about myself and I tried, like, this is what journaling does. It's like therapy to hype yourself up. Do I look really dark? Um, to hype yourself up. But I just remember, I remember wait, staying up so late editing that I barely got any sleep. And that's why I was like, you couldn't possibly have woken up any early. Okay, this is like my business goals. Um, it was a wellness brand shop, which I'm, again, coming out with the wellness stuff. Uh, coaching packages, YouTube weekly, podcast weekly, ebooks. I did actually create ebooks really short after that. Courses, mastermind, that's next on the list. But all of these things came true. Everything that I've written down here has only came true in the past month, which is crazy. Like all my business type things. This was when I wanted to do coaching. I wrote, hey there, my name is Ella Ringros and I'm a mindset coach and I support people who have limiting beliefs and want to break through to the other side to live to their fullest potential and create their dream life because it is most definitely possible. I guide them through their journey and make sure they're stripping back any limiting beliefs they may have about their dreams to make sure they're confident on their journey to success. I can see you're such a go-getter. Oh my god, okay, so I hadn't even started coaching and that's exactly what I do now, but I'm, I said go-getter and like now my business is called goal-getter. That's so funny. Okay. Reading one on money and I wrote down my income goal a year from then and I earned it that I earned that much this month. That's crazy. Yeah. I currently earn mm, a month working for myself and that will continue to scale and grow. This is only the beginning. And I literally earned that much this month. That is wild. Okay, so I manifested my income. I manifested moving across the world and having living in my own place which I didn't even have at the time. In a year, I will be inspiring hundreds on YouTube, coaching women to take back their lives, transforming people's lives. Mm. I didn't realize like how I've been wanting to do this career for so much longer than I thought. I sometimes feel like I just thought about it overnight and I'm like, no, I've been wanting to do coaching since I was like, 
how old 19 this is so sassy i was i think i was like 19 in this right now i feel bleh why <laughs> Because I'm surrounded by so many negative negative vibrations trying to bring me down and I walk away with that I now have white light shining out of me a gold aura. No one can interfere or come into my gold circle <laughs> Oh my god, I literally was like anyone who said anything negative I'd be like you're toxic like I literally would think that about everyone once they started getting into self-development But I remember I was working at a job again. I didn't like Okay, I wrote down this is my calling. I'm more than qualified to lead. I have a message to share. I will not settle in the old world. Someone someone out there is waiting for my leadership. And that was for my coaching when I first started, like giving myself pep talks, which is so adorable. The, okay, these were my body goals and I've achieved them all, which is crazy. So it was to do 10,000 10, steps a day and I literally do that without a doubt. Like, what time is it now? It's 6.40 and I'm on 11,000 steps. Like, I always do 10,000 steps and at the time I didn't. Um, I drink a minimum of three liters of water, yes. Um, I don't eat past six or seven, yes. I do OMAD now, which is like the extreme intermittent fasting. It's only one meal a day. So I've reached the body scripting goals that I wanted 100%, I've lost the weight. Financial, I've achieved. Moving across the world, I achieved. I woke up feeling mediocre as I didn't sleep too long, but here I am journaling to get back on it. I'm grateful for drinking water, for my phone, my laptop. I'm successful, I'm attracting clients, I will get clients. I'm exactly where I need to be. I'm thriving. I'm the master of my life. I steer the boat. I'm so proud of you for quitting alcohol. You are going to go so far. You have no idea. I'm going to look back and say, babe, oh my God. Well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> okay, I had to stop this three times. Cause I, I don't know if you can tell I'm kind of crying. <laughs> I, I don't want to be one of those YouTubers gonna put up a video of me crying, but I wrote down, I'm going to look back at this one day and say, babe, why were you worrying? It all worked out like it literally did oh my god because at this time i was like i was in a job like i absolutely hated i felt so isolated and lonely and i i didn't even know i was going to move to canada back then i thought i was going to go and do my degree which i didn't want to do like i literally um oh, jesus i don't know i think it's because i wrote down you're gonna look back and now i actually am looking back at my past self like when right then when I was writing down I obviously didn't think of the future self looking back at right like watching this but now I'm like everything that I wanted like the body I have that I wanted for so long and the place living in my own place moving across the world having the most incredible best friend like even financially now like I'm an entrepreneur like before then I wasn't earning any money for my business I wrote I'm building my empire day by day I'm going to make an incredible best friend helping each other motivating and growing our businesses which is crazy because my best friend and me literally are the same person, which is, I can't wait to bring her onto the channel moving to Bali with her. But that's, that. oh my God, that just makes my heart like melt. The fact that I was saying like, one day you're gonna look back and say it all worked out and it did all work out. I was so stressed back then. Um, success doesn't happen overnight, Ella. You are 20 years old. When you're 21, you will be earning mm, a month exactly the amount I'm, I've been earning now. Growing your YouTube podcast, coaching business, your courses. I can't, I still can't believe that I said courses and the journals. I didn't, anyway, it is all going to happen. Just because it isn't happening overnight doesn't mean it's not happening. Why? You are building this business every single day. You are so obsessed, clear vision and not partying, um, not partying like others. You are creating your life. I will not settle for a mediocre life. I'm living to my highest potential. I will create the life of my dreams. I'm beginning to love the real me and the me who loves to learn about self-development. Go for walks alone, listen to podcasts. I love me and I and who I am unraveling to be. I would prefer to be considered weird and be incredibly happy and successful than unhappy and trying to fit in. I was trying to fit in and I was miserable. Why? Because I wanted to go to college to quote unquote be normal in Dublin, to be worthy of love. Now I want, now I don't, now that I realize I don't want to go to college purely because the only reason I wanted to go was to fit in. You have drive, belief, and you will do anything it takes. You are an incredible coach. You are going to change hundreds of thousands of people's lives. You are going to empower people. You are going to help people change their limiting beliefs in themselves and not settle for a life they simply do not enjoy. You are in complete control. You are the master of your life. Okay, so I woke up with my dad's. I felt a little upset as I've moved out of home. Um, it is a bit of a shock as I have amazing, as I have amazing work ethic. I don't really get the English in that. I have to look at this as exciting, a new beginning. I'm moving to Canada. I will continue to grow my business and live in a gorgeous place. It is going to happen. I will manifest this. I get um, bad energy. 
in Ireland. Sass. <laughs> Sometimes I'm the master of my life and need to flourish. I'm creating and attracting lots of money into my life. I'm so proud of you, Ella. You've not only quit alcohol, you've been working so hard on yourself, doing incredible, learning about mindfulness, working on my business, taking care of my health. I've tunnel vi vision. Money is not an issue. I will succeed. I am succeeding. I will continue to grow my business and continue to become the best version of myself. I'm growing every day. I'm the master of my life. Stop thinking I can't, I won't be able to afford rent because that was like a big fear I used to have. Um, switch it around to how can I afford rent? I can and will own a place of my own, which I do now live in like my own little place. I will build and create a successful life. I will share an apartment with my best friend. Well, does a villa count? <laughs> okay, I apologize, my camera cut off and so it said, Hello, dear Ella, this is your higher self speaking. I've created a law of attraction coaching business. I live in a beautiful place in the heart of Toronto. Um, I have a white covered bed. I do, that's weird. A beautiful kitchen filled with the healthiest, nutritious and cleanest food. I do. Um, I have beautiful quotes everywhere around my room. I do. I have a gorgeous bath with Epsom salts and lavender soak. I do. Wow. A bookshelf of self-development books. <laughs> I do my morning routine and drink my bulletproof coffee every day. I work with clients changing their lives. I run many different outlets in my business. I believed I could do it because it is possible and I proved to myself I can earn mm, a month. Literally how much I made this month, which is kind of crazy to me. Each month my income gets bigger through, through investing. I live the most incredible supportive spiritual life. Um, I have the healthiest, clearest skin. My body is exactly as I planned. I have t a toned stomach and strong legs. My hair is brown with baby lights and as healthier as ever. That's weird because my hair has never actually been as healthy as now. Yeah, like I don't, I don't really want to read this all because it's very repetitive. But if you can, if you can't tell from the way I was scripting, most of the things I desired were the goal listing and the morning routine and to be consistent with those things because I knew that was what was going to bring me the things that I actually wanted. Um, so that's why a lot of it's like waking up at 5 a.m. and eating well because I knew that was like the secret. I knew very early on that if you worked on your internal world, that was what you were going to get in the external world. Um, like it was going to be a direct correlation. So I always knew that, which is why I actually scripted majority of that. But oh my God, I started breaking down when I read the part where it was like, Ella, you're going to look back and say, why were you worrying? And I think that's actually such a true thing. My mom always says this when she was here. She lived in Canada when she was my age. And she was always worried if she would get married. She'd be like, will I get married? And she just wished she could say to herself, stop worrying because little did she know she'd have a little girl or a big girl who's now 21 living in the exact same place she was at her age and she had no clue. And so I think that's actually an important message I kind of want to close this video on is that like whatever you're worrying about, it's not worth it. I don't know. I just feel like I've been so stressed all day about like things and like, uh, moving and just now that like my business is growing I'm like oh I'm starting to get more stressed and I feel like that has just completely grounded me to be like stop worrying it always works out because it did but yeah this was like a fun emotional little video let me know your thoughts down in the comments I would love to hear it and um, if you have any more video requests let me know if you want me to read more journals I totally can I felt like this video was a little tad bit boring because they're not like scripting like day by day things but um yeah, I want to thank you so much for watching to the end. As you guys know, I have the Goal Getter Mindset Academy down below, which helps you become the best version of yourself as a high quality woman and become magnetic to your desires with the law of attraction. So I want to thank you for watching to the end of this video and I love you all so much. And yeah, again, if you want me to do videos like this, you can let me know. If not, totally cool as well. And I will see you next time.